physiology program, first of all, is, is a medical science discipline. So the first thing that would attract anybody, I think, is simply that physiology is a discipline that they're interested in. I like the people uh, that work in physiology, in addition to the, the subject uh, and, then, and the kinds of things that we get to study, the kinds of things we get to teach. Um, the people that are in that department are, are a great deal of fun to work with. They're bright, they're talented, they're generous, um, they're motivated, um, and it's just a, it's a good group to be around. It's a good group to train students with, it's a good group to plan experiments with. Um, folks are interested not just in solving the problems that go on in their laboratory, but working together to solve the problems that, that are presented to us as a unit. The faculty here are very knowledgeable and very approachable. Um, that's the reason I, even after I did my master's, I stuck around here to do my PhD here because I felt um, this is a great place for me to, uh, to do my project and also to do it with ease. You spend a lot of your time uh, in classes, when you're not in the classroom, you're studying for classes. When you're not studying for classes, you're in the lab trying to get a grasp on what, uh, what your research is going to be about. ECU also offers a lot of activities for students and graduate students. I've been to a couple of events that they have tried to use to facilitate professional students meeting graduate students. And, uh, and those kinds of things are nice. It's really hard when you're busy to make time to, to meet other people. And I think they, they offer some programs that are good at that. What I like about our program is that it's small. Uh, and small gives you certain things. It takes away other things, but what small gives you is direct access to faculty. Uh, what small gives you is a lot of hands-on opportunities, a lot of hands-on experiences. All of our graduate students have been very complimentary about the things they actually physically know they can do for themselves if they absolutely have to. And they're, they're, they're known for their capacity to be independent thinkers, creative thinkers, uh, but also their ability to solve problems and create solutions for those problems on their own. I have to say like the format of the PhD program is very flexible. For me, for example, most students would do rotations in different labs in this department. But because when I first get into this program, I'm very interested in stem cell study. And at that moment, there's no lab in this de department is really doing stem cell study. So I got the chance to go to other department. In our program, like we have to take the classes and also the lab work. We have lab rotations. So I think that's a really good combination for me because uh, I didn't have a big exposure in the lab work. But once I came here, I'm doing lab rotations and so I'm finding it very helpful. And even the classes, like they have courses to teach you about the techniques and the basics behind them. My research is concerned with um, modulating neuronal activity with external modalities, um, mainly time-varying magnetic fields. My track is, is a little unique though because I'm doing a little pharmacology based and toxicology based studies. Um, that, that make it a nice interdisciplinary approach to uh, the PhD program in physiology. Um, what that entails is uh, the, the mentor I'm working with, uh, Dr. Chris Wingard, has a R01 NIH grant to study the impacts of multi-walled carbon nanotube exposure on the cardiovascular system. Since much of the research in that field is focused on, on the outcomes in the lung, some of the projects I've been involved with, um, I did uh, a rotation in uh, Dr. David Brown's lab uh, looking at whole heart preps um, on a Langendorf, so you know, doing a whole heart cardiovascular work. Uh, and then in my lab, some of the stuff that we do here, we do um, uh, in vitro work with vascular uh, spoon muscles, looking at vascular growth and migration and, and, and the aspects that are involved there. And, um, I do a lot of uh, biochemistry like kinases uh, and kinase signaling and, and, and work there. Uh, we do whole animal surgeries, uh, survival surgeries where we go in and um, do like a balloon endarterectomy. So there's a lot of, even in our lab itself, there's a lot of, of kind of avenues that you can go and spend a lot of time in. But it's nice because they, they really help us focus on bringing it back to the whole animal and making it translational in, in terms of the clinical uh, aspect. The things that are being researched currently in our department are fairly cutting edge. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of professors carry um, R01s um, or other large uh, NIH-funded grants, 
and uh, which kind of, that kind of speaks for itself. There is an academic threshold we need to see. There is a background in science that's necessary if you're going to be able to go forward. But beyond that, the attributes are really, are you excited to learn? Are you passionate about really wanting to apply yourself to this? Because it's a competitive place. Uh, this isn't an easy thing to do as a career, but it's a wonderful opportunity 